Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Take News, and today I want to show you guys nine best group policies that you could tweak with Windows 8. Now, IT administrators, system administrators, where IT technicians, whatever you want to call us, are always manipulating and customizing their operating system image to make it work for their environment. Now, there are a number of ways you can tweak Windows. Come on, we all have done it. Whether you are looking to improve performance, iron night, you know, get rid of some irritations that you just can't deal with, improve security, or change the appearance of something that you just don't like. Uh, some settings can be changed through the control panel, uh, some by using a third party tweaking tool, or you prefer to dabble around with. The registry editing that's up to you but for us IT guys we love doing GPO GPO policies group policy objects so now keep in mind some Windows additions don't have the GP edit uh, option which is really weird so I'm taking my mouse put it all the way here until I see that start button or that that start window whatever you want to call it I'm gonna right click on it I'm gonna go to run and I'm gonna go GP edit.msc now if it doesn't work for you most likely you don't have the addition of Windows 8 that supports this that sucks if so let me know and I will try to find a way for you guys to do some tweaking now first the first tweak that I like to use is block control panel applets now there are numerous reasons to block access to individual control panel applets not least of which is to prevent other users from changing the settings you have put in place you can tackle this in one or two ways, either blocking the access to a particular applet or only providing access to a specific applet. Now, if you navigate into your uh, computer configuration and you go into, actually you go to your user configuration and go to administrator templates, control panel, and within control panel, you want to go into go inside the main root of control panel and from there you're gonna hide specific control items and we're gonna double click on that and now if you enable it like if you enable this setting you can select specific items not to display on the control panel okay another one that you could enable is show only specific control panel items so you double click on that and again if you enable this it allows you to show specific control items within the control panel which is pretty cool now the next group policy that I like to use is disable the arrow shake a lot of people don't know what the arrow shake is is basically if you have multiple windows open you can take one window and shake it side by side and the rest of the windows behind the scenes would disappear now if you don't really like that you can actually disable it and to disable it you actually could go inside the user configuration administrator template desktop and within desktop you want to double click on the entry label turn off arrow shake windows minimizing mouse gesture so you double click on that and you will enable it and it would disabled it so that's pretty cool uh, another group policy that I like using is disable toast notification. Now, the notifications, the toast, which Windows 8 is considering it, is when you get these little pop ups right here in the bottom, which is kind of annoying. Now, Windows 8 has so many new ways to display notifications, which gets kind of annoying. You know, uh, modern apps can generate toast notifications, such as apps that you download from the Microsoft App Store, and sometimes you want to disable that stuff. So, again, if you go inside the user configuration and go inside your administrative templates and you go into your start menu now start menu and taskbar and you go to your notifications and the one that you want to turn off is turn off noti toast notifications on the lock screen or turn off toast notification so you can actually got two options to disable it okay now a lot of these group policies are normally done on the user configuration again you're configuring the user side so when the user logs in into your custom made Windows 8 machine or Windows 7 actually Windows 8 um, not Windows 7 because group policies in Windows 7 is a little different than Windows 8 but when the user logs into their Windows 8 you want them to have a fully 
locked down, customized version of what you want to push out to them. Okay. Now the next one I like to do is block startup items. Now there are different ways in which programs and scripts can be configured to run when Windows start. And Group Policy Editor provides a quick and easy way to block them all in one place. Now if you go into the computer policy and you go to user configuration, okay, uh, go to administrative templates, go to system, and within system you want to go into login. Now within login you want to set both the do not process legacy run list and do not process the run once list. Okay, so these are the two that you want to enable. Okay, now number five on my list is block removable media. Now, this is very popular. A lot of companies, especially enterprise companies, do not like when users bring in their flash drives. Now, removable media media such as USB drives can be very useful, but they could also be a huge source of problems. Particularly if you're administrating a system used by people who assist of trying to install their own software or retrieving information that they shouldn't be retrieving. Now, to block removal with media, you basically go back into your user configuration, administrative template. Within administrative template, you want to go into your systems. And within systems, you got a removable storage access key. Now from in there, you want to enable this, all removable storage classes, deny all access. You have so many options here, so I can't really tell you what to do. This is where you come into play. Now most likely if you want to lock down CDs and DVDs, hey, you can actually do it here as well. If you have floppy drives, hopefully floppy drives are out of order. I can't even say it. It's, it's, they don't exist anymore. Uh, removable disks. Uh, deny or read access, you have the read and write GPO and you have all removal. Most likely you could do this and you could just completely lock it down. Okay. Number six. Now number six is something that I like using a lot because Windows 8 is a pain in the butt. Now a new feature that Windows 8 makes is possible to remove the asterisks that mar um, match the password as they are entered. But you have that little eye next to it that if you click on it, it will reveal the password. You really don't like that. That's a huge security problem. Uh, I I consider it a, a huge security problem. So to actually disable that, again, you're going to go back into your user configuration, go to administrative templates, go to Windows components, go to con credentials interface, user interface, and within there you want to enable do not display the password reveal button which is very very awesome uh, I was having so many problems with that thing it was kinda annoying I, I wasn't really used to having that eye there uh, so this is one way that you guys could disable it now number seven number seven is a cool one minimize the Explorer ribbon so what do I mean so I'm going to minimize that and I'm gonna go into my computer and as you can see, your Explorer has a ribbon as this. Now it's already minimized, okay? But what happens if you want this as a default? You want this open like this all the time. So what we're gonna do is go back into your GPO editor. I'm gonna close this up. And you wanna go into your user configuration again, administrative templates, Windows components, Power Explorer and within Power Explorer you want to enable the settings that is labeled start file explorer with ribbon minimize that is the one that we're looking for and where are you there it goes start file explorer with ribbon minimize so I'm gonna double click on this again if you enable this policy I'm gonna apply it and I'm gonna press OK. I'm just now number eight in my list. So let me go close this up. And it's customize the places bar. Now the place bar is supposed to provide easy access to frequently used locations on your hard drive, but it's not immediately obvious how to go about changing the default locations that are shown. If you're up to minimize the Explorer ribbon, which I showed you guys previous, uh, previously. Uh, you're already in roughly the right section of the group policy. Okay, so you're in the right section, and the right section is basically user, administrative templates, 
win, uh, Windows components, Fire Explorer, and the one that you're looking for is items display in the place bar. So let's look for that. Where are you? Wait a minute. I gotta go to Common Open File dialog box, box, and then items display in the place bar. That's what I want. And then from here, you're actually allowed to create your own places, your own shortcuts. So that's pretty cool. Now, the last one in my list of GPOs that you could tweak within Windows 8 is Stop Session Restoration in Internet Explorer. Now, the option to restore tabs from a previous browser session in IE is certainly useful, but in the case of a shared computer, it is also uh, represent a privacy threat. If you would rather plug this hole, head to the local computer policy, which you basically go into the user configuration, uh, administrator templates, Windows components, which was already there previously, and you want to go into the Internet Explorer key. So let me expand this guy right here, right there. And you want to enable turn off reopen last browsing session. So and there it goes. So if you enable this policy, the user cannot use the reopen last browsing session. That means if the IE crashes and they open up the IE, they won't have that re uh, that restore page to the restore all the pages. Most likely, you don't want this to happen because what happens is uh, some sites do have like plugins that do crash the IE. So if you do restore you're gonna have like a constant loop constant loop and you're gonna try to troubleshoot so why not just you know disable it one less thing that you have to deal with uh, that's about it guys those are my top nine GPO tweets that uh, you can actually do with Windows 8 hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please tweet it uh, please Facebook it please share please comment please give me thumbs up please like it uh, hopefully I catch you guys on the next video and peace out